Welcome to Sonia, the student's placement program at the University of Otago. In this module, you will learn how to log into Sonia, view your student placements, process student timesheets, and complete a student assessment. To access Sonia, visit placements.otago.ac.nz. Select which department placement page you would like to access. In this example, we will select School of Physical Education. You will need to log in at the top. First, select your role as Site. The University Sign-in button will be replaced with a username and password box. Enter your Sonia username and password and click Sign In. If you have not yet attained these, you will need to contact the Department Placements team to be assigned a username and password. Now let's view your student placements. Click on the Students tab. All of your students will be listed here. If you have no students showing, you may need to change the date range. Sonia defaults to today's date but you can select an earlier placement's hide date if needed. Clicking the View button on the right of a student's entry will open the student file in the Details section. Here you can see information about their placement, including the address and the dates, as well as other students who are enrolled in this placement, and contact details for site contacts and or mentors and supervisors. Any documents that are attached to the placement are available to view at the top of the file and you can open them by clicking on it. The Students button will show you further information about the student. The Timesheets button will present a summary of all timesheets submitted by the student for each of their placements. Now let's process a student's timesheet. Click the Students tab to exit out of this student's file and return to the Students page. Now select the Timesheets button at the top of the screen. This will provide you with a list of all timesheets waiting to be processed. You can see the timesheet details and a status of Submitted. There are three actions you can initiate for this timesheet. These are Approve with a green tick, Unapprove with a red hazard triangle, and Resubmit with the black arrow. Click the appropriate symbol to action the timesheet. This will remove that timesheet from your action list. You can also select the timesheet by ticking the box on the left and clicking the appropriate action button. This is particularly helpful for actioning multiple timesheets at once. Your student will be able to see the outcome in their Sonia timesheet section. If you selected Resubmit, they will be able to edit the timesheet and resubmit it. Finally, let's complete a student assessment. The Forms tab is where you will find any assessment reports or other documentation that needs to be completed. Some forms may only require a comment and submission, for example, a health and safety form. Let's complete this student's evaluation form. To do this, click the Noted Paper icon and the form will open in a new tab. Complete the sections as required. A red asterisk indicates that the field is mandatory and the form will not submit without these being completed. The Save Draft button will save your answers, enabling you to return and complete the form later. When you have completed the form, select Submit. Forms successfully actioned will appear at the bottom of the page. You can then close the Forms browser tab. To view or print a completed student form, click the page icon on the right side of that entry. If the form has already been submitted, it will be uneditable, and a Save button will not be present. To print, click the print icon located at the top right of the page.
That concludes this module. Covering logging into Sonia, viewing your student placements, processing student timesheets, and completing or viewing a student assessment.